Psalm 54 begins with these words, Save me, O God, by your name. The name of God in Old Testament and New Testament is a really remarkable thing. And uh, th there's two places that's really good to go when we think about the, the name of God. Uh, the first in the Old Testament is the temple. It's a place where God put his name. Uh, he's got his name there, his, his saving name. Uh, it's a place where, where people could go uh, and know who he is. Because that's what a name does. It, it lets you know who someone is. In the New Testament, the, what corresponds to, to that building in the Old Testament, that temple, what corresponds to that in the New Testament is the body of God. God took on a body, and he was given a name, a name that is above every name, the name Jesus. In Jesus, in his body, in his holy, precious blood, we have a place to go. And, and by his name, we know who he is. We know that he is our Savior. And the name Jesus means he will save his people uh, from their sins. In him, in Jesus Christ, uh, the, who is the, the fulfillment of the temple, God dwelling among us, a place where we can go, uh, a physical location, in his body, and his blood, uh, which now is, is a supernatural sort of thing that's beyond us uh, and, and totally understanding it, but, but that body of Christ in the church, the body of believers, that body of Christ in, in the Holy Supper, um, where we get to eat, we get to drink, salvation is poured down our throats, amazing thing. That, that body of Christ that we are crucified with and raised with in holy baptism, there, there we find Jesus in his word and in his sacraments, in his church. And there we have the answer uh, to Psalm 54. Save me, O God, by your name. It's always great when we hear the, about the name of God, and there are many titles, many names of, of God that we hear in the scriptures, but it's always great to go to, to the name Jesus. The name given to this God in the flesh, where we can find our salvation. Let's pray Psalm 54. Save me, O God, by your name. Vindicate me by your might. Hear my prayer, O God. Listen to the words of my mouth. Strangers are attacking me. Ruthless men seek my life, men without regard for God. Surely God is my help. The Lord is the one who sustains me. Let evil recoil on those who slander me. In your faithfulness, destroy them. I will sacrifice a free will offering to you. I will praise your name, O Lord, for it is good. For he has delivered me from all my troubles. And my eyes have looked in triumph on all on my foes. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Alleluia. Peace be with you.